Hi everyone, I am offering a short video today using EFT and bilateral stimulation, my two favorite forms of tapping, uh, related to our happiness, what I call our happiness quotient or our tolerance level with being happy. I've been thinking a lot about this topic recently and so many of us really want to be happy but for some reason we find ourselves struggling in so many ways, emotionally, physically, spiritually, relate in relationships. And it begs the question, if we want to be happy and we want to feel peaceful, why are we not, why is that not our experience? So today we're going to tap on that. So setting the intention, if you'd like to close your eyes with me and take a deep, deep breath and setting the intention to meet your happiness threshold or edge and possibly go further. And in doing that, we're going to explore what resistance comes up as we think about being happy, as we think about moving into a different way of life. So I invite you to tap with me. We're gonna go through EFT points first and I'll say some phrases and you can repeat after me or you can substitute your own words if that feels more true or authentic for you. So starting at the top of the head, I want to be happy, eyebrows, but I'm not as happy as I want to be, side of the eye. And I'm really curious about why that is, under the eye, why I think I might have this future vision of what happiness looks like, under the nose, but I don't seem to ever really get there under the lip and sometimes just when I think I'm about to get there something comes up collarbones and those new situations that present trouble or struggle always seem to come up under the arm and even when I feel happy part of me feels agitated switching hands top of the head I'm willing to see that part of me that feels agitated with happiness. I'm willing to see that part of me that feels agitated when I'm just at peace. I'm willing to meet that part of me that feels agitated when there is no struggle or drama in life. Because I want to be happy. And there's some reason that that's not my current reality. So I'm willing to get curious and look really deeply inside. And I offer and invite myself to do that now. And then release the tapping and close your eyes Notice what sensations are present in your body now. There might be a story of what the resistance is. You can go ahead and search for that if it's helpful. Of uh, this, this vision of a future me that's happy and content and peaceful. And where's the dissonance? What's that gap between that future self that's only an imagination right now and this current reality in this current body? And just notice if there's any stories that are there. And then I invite you to cross your wrists and tap on alternate shoulders, tapping pretty good letting your right left hemispheres of the brain process this information that you're discovering about yourself now. Maybe the resistance is then there feels like there's nothing to do. Or the resistance is I don't even know how to be happy. Or there's stories about not deserving. Stories from childhood when our parents told us to not be too happy. 
to not get our hopes up because we might be disappointed or experiences with school and peers where we were sort of singled out for being extra happy and joyful and present and playing. Keep tapping. And now I invite you to notice what emotions are present. Maybe there's guilt. Maybe there's shame for doing it differently than our family structures did it. Maybe there's sadness for some loss, loss of play, loss of innocence, loss of happiness. Maybe there's anger. Try to identify what emotion is really driving that story or those subconscious beliefs that you're telling yourself. And as you connect with those emotions, notice what you're feeling in your body and keep tapping. Keep breathing. And as you breathe and tap, notice if there's any shifts in the sensation in your body. Notice if that emotion that you identified or one or two or three still feels very present or if it's faded into the background a bit. And keep tapping. Keep breathing. And then release the tapping. Give your shoulders a squeeze, kind of massaging out. And you can even drop your chin and just kind of be with yourself for a moment. Notice what's still there as if you're comforting yourself. And then release your arms. And if there's any emotion still present of what you identified, tap on that emotion. So I want you to think about that emotion and tap with me, eyebrows. All that emotion that came up, identifying specifically what it is for you, noticing where the sensation is in your body. Noticing the perhaps even excitement or peacefulness in the revealing, understanding a deeper level. giving identification to that feeling and those thought patterns that were created, giving presence to it, letting it be. And in that presence, letting it move through, breathing into it, letting it be there. Perhaps even feeling like it's an ugly part of you that you've been denying. And can you meet that part of you with love? Switching hands top of the head. Can you meet that part of you with acceptance? Can you meet that part of you with tender nurturing and care? Can you witness that part of you without any judgment? and breathe. So much breath as we finish this round. Even more oxygen coming into your body. Letting the breath flush the emotions and the bodily sensations even more. Mm, trusting that your breath is so powerful. Even more breath. And then slowly release. Taking one more deep breath. And starting at the top of the head again. In this exploration, I understand how to wipe the slate clean. I understand that I can be happy. 
I understand that I deserve to be happy. And I understand it can even be more appealing now. In shedding those layers of the subconscious programming, I open up free space to be happy and to be free. to be present and to be whole. And then release the hands and take a deep breath and close the eyes. And now imagine that future you that you see being happy and peaceful and not struggling in any way, that future you that you saw in the beginning that felt so far away. In your imagination, I want you to imagine slamming that version of you into your body now. Like you're pulling a dot far, far off in the distance, way, 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 way close. And it's like a new blueprint of what this happiness feels like. And keep bringing it closer. Keep like slamming it into your full body experience now. And breathing until it feels like it has arrived. You don't necessarily know yet because you haven't tested it out, but something feels different in your body. And that future you, that happy you is present now and feels like it's inside of you. And tapping with me one more time, anchoring it in. Pulling this blueprint of happiness and peacefulness into my body. Pulling this blueprint in of no struggle, just peacefully being. Noticing how that feels in my body. Noticing the spaciousness of possibility. Noticing the worthiness of all that I deserve. Noticing the worthiness of feeling happy and whole. Noticing the worthiness of my smile and my joy. Switching hands, top of the head, giving myself space and room to play. Letting myself move back into that purity of joy. Noticing where I feel joy in my body and loving that, loving the sensation in my body, loving this free open space. I am worthy of happiness and joy. It is anchored into me now, anchored into every cell of my being body, mind, and soul. Release the hands, close the eyes, take a deep breath in. Notice how you feel. And come back to your intention. You've pushed past your happiness threshold, your happiness edge. Breathe into that and now go enjoy it. Pleasure to be with you. Much love.